The screen on which you are watching this video is electronic. Electronics are made from metals and other elements, which are found in minerals. The electricity that powers electronics is delivered through copper wire. Copper metal is found in various different minerals. The building you are in and the car you drive is made from steel, which is carbonized iron. A lot of iron comes from the mineral taconite, which is a type of iron ore. Modern technology is dependent upon minerals used in millions of manufactured products. Minerals impact every aspect of our lives. A mineral is an element or chemical compound formed as a result of geological processes. Let's learn more about minerals. Every metal and many substances used in manufacturing are extracted from naturally occurring forms called minerals. Minerals occur in rocks. Rocks that contain high concentrations of minerals are called ore. Ores contain enough valuable minerals to be mined for profit. For example, aluminum is widely used by industry for making soda cans to aircraft. Aluminum is made from mineral called bauxite. Bauxite is the primary naturally occurring source of aluminum. Bauxite is mined from open pit mines. After mining, bauxite is processed to extract pure aluminum which is further processed for use in manufacturing. Gypsum is a soft white or gray colored mineral that occurs mostly in sedimentary deposits. Gypsum is used in fertilizers and in many building products like sheetrock. Silicate minerals are widely used in many everyday products. Numerous different types of glass are based on silicate minerals. Glass is used for utensils, windows, and as an insulator. It's also used in optical transmission fibers for cable television, while the silicone chip is based on silicate minerals. Silica is also used as a filler in many cosmetics. Sand is the most common and readily available source of silica. It is mined from open pit sand mines. A number of minerals are rare, and depending on their rarity, are considered to be precious or semi-precious. We're most familiar with their use in jewelry but these minerals have many industrial applications. Gold and silver, for example, are both used extensively in jewelry and in industrial goods. Most gold and silver deposits lie deep underground. The mining of precious metals is complex and labor-intensive and requires large machines. Just about every aspect of our civilization depends on minerals in one way or another. Our use of minerals also comes at a cost. Mining and refining of minerals or their improper disposal can cause environmental problems. Minerals certainly impact every aspect of our lives and society.